Um, I've been to the pound shop and it is a true pound shop. So let me show you what I got. And um, I'm also gonna show you what I made this week. Sorry, I had to think then. Some of this stuff's really boring, but um, yeah, bear with me. Should have done this before I put the thing on. How are you all anyway? It's a lovely day here. <laughs> I got absolutely soaked on because I, I had the dentist at 9.30. So I got there at nine, luckily. Um, because, um, yeah, the card machine wasn't working in the car park. Right, sorry, that's a big pile of rubbish, isn't it? Okay, right, crafty-wise, right, let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. I was desperate need for some new pegs, pound. Now, interestingly, there is a pound. Uh, my, t my, uh, my dentist is in Timmouth. It's a seaside town not far from here. Um, it's the only one I could get. Um, and there is a pound land there. So I had a quick look round there, but there's also some little bargain shops, which is where I got most of this from. Poundland is no longer a pound. <laughs> I don't know. They should be done under trade description because, uh, anyway, I went into the little cheapy shops and these were all a pound. So um, let's get the boring stuff out of the way, like I said. Um, wardrobe de dehumidifier. Now, I keep one of these in my car. Um, I don't know why, but my car gets really wet inside. There's no leaks. I've gone through all the seals. There's nothing. And I'm just like, so I've picked up two because I know one needs replacing already. But that seems to really be helping. And for a pound, happy. <sighs> Plastic postal bags because I quite often post stuff that size. So, again, boring stuff out of the way. Um... Oh yeah, nail file for, file for me. I like these ones because they've got different... Mine, mine has got to the point where it's like bald in places. So um, yeah, it's got different zones if you like. So, you know, some really rough parts, some not so rough. Um, yeah, it's just a nail file at the end of the day, but I shall open it and show you anyway. But yeah, so get off me. Um, mine has gone, yeah, see it's got the nice smoother there and then it's got the one that will just take a bit off, so cool. Happy with that, so I can replace that. Are we at the craft stuff yet? Yes, we are. Right, this is all for crafting. <laughs> this is this is the exciting stuff. Um, I'm just going to bring you forward a bit because I feel like you're a bit far away. So, um, these were a pound, but it's decorative, it's felt cut in decorative shapes which I thought would be quite good fun for everything really it is that stiffer felt it's not the nice soft wool felt but when you just want it for a decoration I'm going to take that sellotape off because that tends to mark fabric so I'm going to take it off now but yeah I don't know how much of each there is does it say Oh, 92 centimetres, so just under a metre. So I think that's pretty good, to be honest with you, for a pound. And like I say, you've got all these different... Um, uh, ...borders and that, so I thought that'd be fun for when I'm doing things like um, Tory uh, Cool Kooky Creatures um, postcards that we're doing. So, yeah, cool. I'm, like, I'm really liking that, so goodbye. They did have another design, but I didn't like that so much. So I'll put that back in the packet in a minute. So that was that. Um, I've got these um, highlighter pens because I haven't got any neon felt tip pens, if you like. I don't know what these are going to be like. But again, for a pound, it's worth the risk. They look quite nice. Um, a scrap of paper. Let me just. Yes, I've got absolutely drenched. Oh yeah, nice neon. Whoa, nice. Yeah, got to the car park and the um, card machine wasn't working, so we all had to ring up on Ringo. And I was already, um, that's a parking app in case you're not in this country. <laughs> um, 
and of course I was I wasn't running late but I was you know getting close to the bone if you like so yeah they're cool right lovely and then the green one just the last one might as well try that one oh yeah cool because sometimes you know you spend a pound and it's absolutely rubbish but they'll be fine they will do what I need them to do put those in there with my neon pencils right um I don't need the box I will recycle that now these were a pound my big ones are getting quite blunt quite frankly um so i thought you know what for a pound i will try them i don't know if they're any good <laughs> probably not knowing my luck but let's see um let's get a water Ooh, get a watercolor paper here fine they got a nice tip as well do they cut and they don't cut particularly well to the tip Mm, okay, they're not too bad, but I just thought I'd give them a go for a pound. Why not? Uh, right, that's recycling. Um, I picked up one of these. Now, I'm not really a palette person, but I've run out of... Because I'm not buying so much in packaging now, I usually use bits of packaging. Uh, this was one fifty nine actually, this one. Um, this was in a different shop to... Was it... Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, so I thought I'd give that a whirl and then I, you know, I can just recycle my packaging when I get some. These, again, pound, recycle that. I've got lots of little bits, but I don't like putting them in sort of non-see-through boxes. So I picked up two lots of those um, for things like... You know, these are just sat here, so let's see if they'll all fit. So it's going to be noisy. This is from that um, thing that I sorted out with you guys. And then I can put them away in a drawer, and I know they're not going to fall out everywhere. It's just not going to be quite big enough. Typical. I might just squeeze on, I might be lucky. I need some of these out anyway, so I'll just leave those there for now. <laughs> you haven't got headphones on, sorry. Yeah. Okay, there's going to be two, two of these, but that's fine. It needs to go right below the rim. There we are. Cool. Okay, great. So that's those. Brilliant. So I picked up two lots, of, uh, yeah, because I have got some other bits, you know, bits and bits and bits. That's what my room is full of. I'll put those there. Um, shoelaces. Now, I'm making drawstring bags. And because I'm using some quite odd colours for my drawstring bags, I'm finding I don't have any cord. And I've used shoelaces in the past, actually. But I bought white ones. Obviously, now I've got a bit of packaging there. So that's a palette. I'll keep that one. Um, so that I can dye them, basically. And I think, yeah, they're over a metre long. So I can dye these to whatever colour I need. Oh, it's two at 80 centimetres. That's fine. That should be enough. Yeah, that's 90. And then that one is... Yeah, so they're the big long ones. But they're ideal as pull cords. And they're just shoelaces. I could chop the ends off. Because they've usually got like a plastic end. Yeah. I chop that off and tie a knot basically. Well, you can leave it on. doesn't matter. Either, either. But yeah, very handy. I'll put those back in there for now. Um, I also picked up. It's like a DIY washi tape. And you colour it in yourself. I've never seen it before. Probably been around forever and I just don't know about it. So um, I thought that might be fun to play with, actually. But even if it's just... Oh, here we go. Um, even if it's just... Ah, I felt it there. Uh, clear, basically. That'd be fine. It doesn't want to come off. Oh, God, she's off. Macro. Oh, let's stick it on there. A bit of 
colour card. How fun is that going to be? See, even, even black and white. I kind of like that. I'll put the new ones away. <laughs> Typical. Yeah, that's, that's kind of funky. I like that. They had quite a few designs. And I think there's quite a bit on there. Um, 10 feet, 3 metres. So that's quite a lot in washi tape land. So yeah, I thought that'd be fun to play with. Be nice in a, a art journal page type thing as a border or whatever. Yeah. Cool. I like that. Right. I'll colour that in later. Uh, right. uh, is that is that all? Yes, that's all from the right. So these um these again, these were reduced to a pound. I don't know what they were originally. Sorry. Now they're selling them as cushion covers, but I see them as project bags. So I'll remove the zip and chop them into project bags and you've got a lot of fabric for a pound and it's quite nice it um i don't know what it is actually it's kind of like that printed stuff has it got a label but it tells you exactly what it is but i know they make it's kind of nylon-y i know they make cracking bags yeah, there's no label, that's typical. So I don't know what the content, uh, you know, the actual fabric is. There's a couple of pulls there, so... Oh, no, it's not. No, I thought they were pulls. Nope, that's fine. So, yeah, so I've got that one. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, I really like this one. Shame about all the plastic, but, you know. Yeah. I really like that one because I've got those Scotty dogs so I might do some um, applique on there for the Scotty dogs and again it feels lovely it's really smooth it's really nice this one I didn't get out I don't know what it's got a cap on it there weren't that many left actually so um, oh that's quite pretty sorry it's a cat sat on something <laughs> you don't look very happy <laughs> But yeah, again, it, it it kind of feels like brushed cotton, but I know it's not because inside you can feel it's quite nylon-y. But I just think they'll work perfectly. I thought, well, do you know what? You're not going to be a pound. I wasn't sure about this one because it looked a little bit... Oh, it's got bats. Oh, okay. I thought this one, I could go in and do some embroidery on it. But that's quite nice, isn't it? I'm sorry about the dots, it's off the blind. I can't do nothing about it. So again, it's the same back and front. And last one. I reuse the bags, don't worry. They'll, um, I use them as sort of sorting out bags i don't quite know is that meant to be a flower maybe but i just loved the color the neon again they feel really really nice it's a shame they haven't got a label for the content and again i will reuse the zips but i don't know if you can it's kind of nylon-y but as long as the outside feels nice, it's going to be lined anyway. So, you know, so there we are. So I've got, I think I've got six of those in the end. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six, because I've got two of the spotty ones. So I'm very happy with those. Oh, hello, cat. Why are you here? Um, and then uh, my friend lives in Timnath and she told me about a fabric shop had been had having opened up so i had to go of course i had parking time so um so yeah the fabric band van is officially open i've got to try and remember how much these were now <laughs> oh this could be today's tester 
this is a little shop if you ever go to um she's on teen street timmouth which is like the what are you doing oh, she's rolling on leaves don't ask um if you ever go to timmouth it's the little bit off the high street anyway they had um fat quarters yeah. I would imagine they get a lot of greenery stuff blown into their shop because they're down a sort of a windy alley. The cat is behind me. <laughs> Why are you rolling on that, you weirdo? I picked up... We were in the forest and I picked these up, but there was also sheep's wool everywhere where the sheep had been. And I think... Oh, honestly, that cat. She's just rolling it everywhere. Ugh. Anyway, let me see if I can get her on camera for you. Hold on. Is it nice? I don't know if it's the sheep's wool or... <laughs> Does that smell good? Me? Hey? You'd think she's a really cute, lovely cat, wouldn't you? But she's really not. So what are you actually rolling? You're rolling on the pine. Can somebody explain that to me, please? <laughs> Mackerel, what are you doing? Do you even know at your age? Okay, well, it's obviously good. Right, let's go back to the goodies now, shall we? So if you hear rolling noises in the background, that's what's going on. <laughs> anyway, these were 175. The spotty ones were 175 a fat quarter, which I thought was a bargain, quite frankly. So I got those two. Two really nice colours, actually. And again, fat quarters. A cotton, I think. Oh, gold. What are you doing? Oh, she's not. No, she knocked over my tablet. Great. So they were 175, honestly, like working in a zoo. And then these were. Don't bite it. I really don't think it's good for you to bite, darling. So you just carry on. <sighs> I give up. Oh, I can't remember what was what. I think these were two pounds. I'm pretty sure they were. Yeah, these were. So they were one seventy five. These were two pounds. No, they were one fifty. These were one seventy five. Right, and these were two pound. <laughs> I'm getting there. It's the stress of her in the background. So I got this, which I thought was really nice. Actually, it's hundred percent cotton. I haven't got there maker's names or have I? No, it just says 100% cotton, but sunflowers, I love sunflowers. You can't beat a sunflower, but I've got no maker's name on here. I don't know. Anyway, so I thought that was really pretty, nice and summery. And then this one, which is kind of, I don't know, just leaves oh it's actually um fish look so it's under yeah there we are yeah so it's um seaweed and things but i thought that was quite fun again i've got no maker's name it just says 100 percent cotton so i don't know these were just in she had like trays full of them uh, so they were three pounds each and these were two pounds I'm pretty sure they were. Anyway, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because you probably won't come to a shop in Tynmouth, especially if you live in America. So I thought that was a nice sort of solid neutral. Well, it's not solid. It's a neutral. Um, yeah, a nice backing fabric, basically. Because that is one thing that I'm very short on. Oh, hang on, she's got us. A... Get off the threads. Oh, my God. Mackie, darling. <sighs> She's got herself wound up in my 
You can't pick the cheap thread, can you? No, you have to go for the Guterman. She wrapped herself up in it. Um, and then this one. We'll get there. Hang on. She'll go to bed in a minute, I hope. Um, again, I've got no maker's mark on it. No, it just says 100% cotton. So I don't know. I don't know what the make, who, who, does, who did it. But I thought that was really nice, actually. Will you stop? Mackerel, stop. Out. Get out of the way. Don't you bite me. And bees. Which I thought was really pretty, actually. With the little hexes. Yeah, lovely. So I was very pleased with those. And then um, I picked up this lovely panel, which again, I'm going to make into little project bags. Otherwise, just so, so nice. I've got the tropical one somewhere. I'm going to dig that out and do the same. But I love these birds. I love the colours. I love the sage green. So I'll chop them like so. Probably make my little vinyl fronted bags. So there's birds. There's a hedgehog. Let me, has she gone? good let me see what you can see yeah so hedgehogs birds there's mr fox it's a beautiful deer and then there's swans and a wabbit oh and then birds again are they different yeah different birds that's nice and then a squirrel and this is something that you could easily, easily... Oh, it's Maycower. Okay. I, I, I thought I recognised it. Um, you could easily thread paint this, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really, really lovely. And that was £8.50, which I didn't think was too bad, because I'm going to get eight bags out of that. So, very nice too. Um, is that everything? Yeah. So that's all the incoming goodies. I was a little bit naughty, but you know. Anyway. Now, some of the stuff that I've made this week, you will recognize some of the fabrics. Um, uh, because I picked these up at the West Point show. Right, got no room again. So again, um, Again, let me see what you can see. Yeah, I don't know if you remember these fabrics when they were just fabrics. It's now a big, tall drawstring bag. Okay, um, fully lined pockets, blah de blah de blah, and then um, so it's the corduroy, the black corduroy from the scrap box, and that that was from the scrap box as well. So it's all squishy, so it's nice. So it's a quite a tall one because um, I thought if you've got long needles. Or you'll just want to carry a load of washing in it or, you know, makeup or whatever you want to use it for. So that's one bag. And then, do you remember this fabric? <laughs> it's now a small uh, vinyl fronted bag. And then I backed it with the other piece that was in that pack. So again, my, my recipe, my method of making these bags really helps. Um, because what the heck um, you can just literally make them to whatever size you want basically as proven here so this was the big you're getting it all yeah the big panel so these are massive these bags but you know if you've got a big cross cross stitch project a big English paper piece in pro project a big knitting project a big sewing project or you just want something nice to carry big pieces of artwork in <laughs> you've got a bag that'll do it and uh, again vinyl fronted um yeah so managed to make those it's just backed with a nice gray again using up my scraps which feels so good and then that's the blue one uh yeah it's not much to say really they are what they are so i managed to get 
um, out of the panel I managed to get enough to make the um, the zip holder and the vinyl holder bit so um, so for the for the actual inside and the front bit I didn't need to add any more fabric so I just needed fabric to back it and I had this lovely little ditzy blue one so ditzy blue flowers so there you go so that's those two and then out of the orphan blocks I've made one two three four five six seven needlebooks I will just they're more or less exactly the same inside um they've got the felt pockets uh pages and they're fully lined and they're all backed with this fabric because it's the only fabric I had that went with all of them well with any of them I'll be honest with you so um I took the little animal square things that I buy as well so that's that one that's the squirrel again lined you know it's got your you've got your pages in there basically I did some hand stitching on this one with my favourite blanket stitch flowers again and then a bee one and a hedgehog and another bee one but I angled it differently because I just basically matched the shape of the square there and I trimmed it all down so that it would fit inside that stitching and another bee one because again yeah I love the bees I'll trim that in a minute uh, yeah again they got uh, you get four pages basically two black and two pink so so there we are that's it so far I mean I've got um I've got three more of these orphan blocks downstairs which I'm embroidering on so um, they're just not finished yet but I thought I'd show you what I've got up to so far that's it oh hang on now then the amazing Tori that cool kooky creatures because she knows I can't draw <laughs> she um let me have a copy of her crow I don't know if she's going to make it into a PDF, I would imagine. If you nag her enough, she would do a PDF and put it on her Kofi shop. This is my version. This is Colin. Okay, Colin the Crow. Um, yeah, he's not as bejazzled as um, Tories. I was going to put a uh, lime green Mohican on there, but I just thought, actually, he looks like quite a surreal, sedate gent. <laughs> I didn't pad his wings. I put some... Um, uh, pelmet violin in there so that they would stay out i just padded his body his beak and um i put on a couple of stars with um big you know big um bling on it basically and yeah he's wearing his heart and he's got lots of this is his little waistcoat bless him and yeah it's just yeah quite simple quite quick to do to be quite honest with you i, I did blanket stitch around the edges and that's it. I'll put a hook on the back because I'm going to hook him and hang him up. He'll hang on the wall with his hook. And that's just a frog. I've got a set of the old frogs. If you know, you know. That needs tying off. I shall finish that off properly. Um, yeah, so that was that. And um, oh, and another thing I finally got around to finishing. I'd embroid... Um, this is one of my what you called lino prints they start off like that and then you choose what you're going to embellish and that's how mine ended up so um yeah just stitch the heck out of it put some felt on for the flowers did some sort of little sample stitches actually that was quite nice that's um a lazy daisy with a little bit underneath it's really pretty i can't remember the official name of it but it was nice so yeah it was quite nice to use to uh, practice the old stitching so yeah and then i just couched the um orange string around the edge so there we are that's it I've now got to get on with my Roxy bag because I'm running out of time and it's my long work week. Is there anything else? I'm just quickly looking around. No, that's it for now. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the haul. I hope you enjoyed looking at what I've made out of um, stuff that I rescued. <laughs> and I hope you like Colin. And yeah. 
bags and bags and bags. When I get round to it, I will put them on it. See, <laughs> but it's the getting it round to it thing that I just am rubbish at, quite frankly. Right, that's it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and get some lunch and then crack on and uh, do some more hand stitching. See you then. Bye.